What's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Abhi and I'm back with a new video again this is the last part of the BTEC series thank you for supporting me in the BTEC series so today we are going to discuss about the syllabus and subjects of the fourth year that is four one semester and photo semester that sounds interesting let's get into the topic As in BTEC final year, mostly all the subjects are optional that is open electives or professional electives. I will list the open elective subject and the professional elective subjects on the screen you can directly see on them and I will also provide a link down in the description below so that you can directly go and get into the PDF of what are the actual subjects that are available for your choice on the open elective or the professional elective side. If you want more videos like this on BTEC or any other stuff, comment in the comment box below that on what topics should I make my future videos on so now let's get into the subjects of the 4-1 semester the first subject in the list is data mining it is like just a data science subject where huge amount of data is available in the warehouse the data warehouse and you have to mine a specific part of data that is actually useful and actually required for the user so there are five chapters in it as usual the first one is introduction to data mining the second chapter is association rules and the third one is classification and the fourth one is clustering and the last chapter in the list is text mining the next subject in 4-1 semester is ppl that is principles of programming languages the first chapter is preliminary concepts and syntax and semantics the second chapter is names binding and spaces and data types and the third chapter is sub program implementation of sub programs and abstract data type and the fourth chapter is object oriented programming and concurrency and the last chapter in the list is functional programming language logical programming language and scripting languages ppl is just a basic subject of all the programming languages like assembly language oops python java all these languages what are the basic principles that each and every student should know is detailedly explained in this ppl language and for a note there are no coding questions in this subject now in 4-1 semester there are three professional electives that are available that you can see on the screen and the subjects that i have chosen in my btech is python programming distributed systems and cloud computing so let's get into details of these subjects the first one is python programming the chapters in this subject are python basics and the second chapter is files exceptions and modules and the third chapter in the list is regular expressions and the fourth chapter is gui programming and web programming and the last chapter in the list is database program as you all know as the name suggests python programming totally deals with the python programming language the next subject is distributed systems and the chapters are the first chapter is characteristics of distributed systems and system models and the second chapter in the list time and global states and coordination and agreements and the third chapter in the list is inter process communication and the fourth chapter in the list is distributed file systems and name servers and the last chapter in this distributed systems subject transactions and concurrency control the next subject is cloud computing the first chapter chapter in the list is computing paradigm and the second chapter in the list is cloud computing fundamentals and the third chapter in the list is cloud computing architecture and management the fourth chapter in the list is cloud service models and the fifth chapter in the list is cloud service providers these are all the five subjects that are present in 4-1 semester and let's get into the lab side the labs we have data mining lab where we use a specialized tool called Vika in your software I'll make a separate video on that and also I'll provide the download link so that you can directly go and download download that in your system and work on data mining the two types of problems that are mentioned in this syllabus is hospital management system and credit risk assessment and the next lab in this list is python programming lab these are the some of the questions that are asked and that are to be solved by you guys in this lab these all are related to the python programming language you have to code them in your systems and execute the programs successfully then comes the industry oriented mini project where you have to do a specialized mini project of your specific branch like if you are a computer science engineering student you have to make a mini project like building a website building an app the last subject in this 4-1 semester is a technical seminar this technical seminar is nothing but you have to choose a specific topic of your branch like if you are from CSC you have to choose a topic related to CSC like nanotechnology or artificial intelligence machine learning big data blockchain technology etc and 
any one topic you have to choose and you have to make a presentation out of it ppt and you have to give a presentation in your class to all the students and the professors then you will be awarded marks accordingly in this subject that's all about 4-1 semester let's get into the last semester of btech that is 4-2 in this semester the major thing is the major project so major project i will make a separate video on that if you want they will just comment down below about that let's get into the three subjects that are important there is a open elective and two professional electives in this semester the subjects that i have chosen is erp that is enterprise resource planning and the second subject is modern software engineering and the last subject is computer forensics so let's get into the details of these subjects the first one is enterprise resource planning the first chapter in this list erp and technologies and the second one is erp implementation and the third chapter in the list is ERP in action and business modules and the fourth chapter in the list is ERP markets and the last chapter in the list is enterprise application integration ERP subject is related to the business stream not the computer science core stream so this subject deals with how to integrate all the departments in a company like how to deal with the HR team the coding team testing team all the different departments how do they coordinate what are the tools that are used by them to coordinate with each other and all the solutions to it are also given even in this subject the next subject is modern software engineering as the term suggests it discusses about the practices how to deliver a code by a cs student after the coding is completed let's get into the chapter point of view first chapter in the list is introduction to xp that is introduction to extreme programming or agile development the second chapter is collaborating and the third chapter is releasing and the fourth chapter is planning and the last chapter in the list is develop now coming to the last subject of this fourth year and also the btech series that is the computer forensics the first chapter in this list is introduction to cyber crimes and the second chapter in the list initial response and forensic duplication the third chapter in the list forensic analysis and validation and also there is a second part in this that deals with the network forensics and the fourth chapter in the list is current computer forensic tools cell phone and mobile devices forensics and the last chapter in the list is working with windows and dos operating system that's all guys of this fourth year btech syllabus and all the subjects and all the chapters i hope this video is informative and it has helped you a lot in this tech series if you like just drop us a like down below and i will also leave the first second third year subjects and their chapters videos that i have posted earlier in the description box below you can directly click there and also watch those videos also it will be very much interesting and tell me on what topic should i make my next videos on just comment down below that's it from me today i'll see you in my next video cheers